Shares in Fairfax Media hit a new low today, with Gina Reinhart threatening to sell out of the company if she doesn't get seats on the board. And elsewhere, the industry upheaval continues. Mrs Reinhart has also upped her stake in 10 Network, and so have fellow moguls Lachlan Murdoch and James Packer. News, the former boss of Woodside, Don Volte, was taking over the helm of Seven West Media, sparked a massive sell-off in Seven's shares. Neil Woolrich has it all. For all the media interest in Gina Reinhart, the question remains, just what is she up to? It's not clear that Mrs Reinhart has a plan. Gina Reinhart bought another $20 million worth of shares in the 10 network last week through a rights issue, maintaining her stake at 10.5% of the company. But as early as last week, she was threatening to sell her 18.7% interest in Fairfax Media. A statement to the ABC's Four Corners program says, unless director positions are offered without unsuitable conditions, Mrs Reinhart is unable to assist Fairfax at this time. Hancock Prospecting may hence sell its interest and may consider repurchasing at some other time. I don't think any board in any public company uh, can be pushed around. That isn't what they're there for. I don't think uh, she says things lightly, but I, I think it is a bargaining chip. I think she's just trying to use a bit of leverage. But I, but I think if she doesn't get away, she'll simply sell out and, and cut them adrift. Fairfax shares hit a new low of 53 cents on the news before recovering slightly. Mark McDonnell says Gina Reinhart's involvement in Fairfax is a sideshow and Fairfax's real problem is that its old business model is broken. Revenues are declining, costs are going up, the old cosy world is broken and these companies are scrambling to find ways to take costs out of their businesses. But Mark McDonnell says the challenge for old media companies is that the cost-cutting drive might hasten their demise. The great risk for a newspaper company that shuts down its print operations is that it actually kills that business. And there are some examples in the US, for example, of uh, newspaper companies that have done that. Yes, they've taken a lot of costs out of their business, but they've also essentially destroyed their market. Meanwhile, Seven West Media has a new CEO, just a day after three senior Fairfax editors stepped down. The veteran television executive, David Leckie, will be replaced by Don Volte, who's the former boss of the oil and gas producer, Woodside. At first take, it's a very surprising move, but he has been a director since 2008 from memory. So he's well known in the boardroom and his, his contribution would have been seen by other directors, not the least of which is Kerry Stokes. Taking a longer term view and the wider uh, interests of seven group holdings, the parent company, in uh, resources related businesses, you can see there's a bit of a potential fit uh, with the broader context. But the change in CEO sparked carnage on the market, with seven share price tumbling 13%. Investors fear the move could foreshadow a profit downgrade, job cuts, or that seven might need to make a heavily discounted capital raising to stay within its banking covenants. This is the most tumultuous it has ever been. And these are really, really major organi media organisations, all of whom are changing shape and direction. And it's a story that seemingly still has a long way to run.